Morning. Saturday morning. <coughs> People are out with their lawn mowers, so I've had to shut my Velux windows. <coughs> Velux windows, they're there, the roof, the roof uh, windows with a couple of four foot square ones on my left. So those of light. And above my head, I've got a, a four foot, a three foot window. I think it might even be bigger than that. <coughs> So plenty of light. It's a wonderful day in, in uh, London. I've had several nice days this week. We're actually getting a bit of summer. We've had in fits and starts, but uh, <coughs> it's really nice now. So the atmosphere is going to be dry. So I have to bear that in mind. Now, looking at this picture here, I did this, oh, five or six weeks ago. I'm going to do something like it. It's a good exercise in, in painting rocks. I don't know why I left that unpainted there. Whoops. Go back to that. I like it because I was practicing pines and my little fisherman that I seem to put in every picture. I put the red because one dot of red really does lead into the picture. The constable was uh, famous for it. And of course, Turner on the fighting Tamara with the red boy, was it? Red boy? Thumb, put it on with his thumb. And then left it to the to the amazement of the other exhibitors at the Royal Academy. Then, and he came back and spat on his finger and rubbed it in. And there was his boy. Has he gone mad? Well, no, he hasn't because it's one of the world's most famous paintings. Right. Okay. So, check camera. I've got a notice above my my paper. So check camera, so I'm going to check it, so zoom out from that and remove this. Someone mentioned that I seem to have an inexhaustible stream of ideas, but I don't really. It's just that I've got everything I've, I've painted since I've had this laptop and the Canon camcorder, <coughs> I've posted on Facebook on my art page. So I've got up to date on that uh, page 834 timeline photos <coughs> so if, I, if I'm looking for inspiration that's what I use I don't copy them I do they're just reminders and hopefully everyone I do is a bit better than the one I did before but it doesn't work out like that and for purchases of my work and I do sell them occasionally online sold one this morning I had to go to the gallery because I forgot to sign it um, I invariably paint on the backs of some of the the demonstrations that I don't really like anymore, that I don't think have enough in them, or they were good at the time. But uh, so two for one. So there you go. Enough for me. Let's uh, get the putting out YouTubers. I need to give a bit of a bit of a clean. Just. Nice and clean to start with. My paint paints have been kept soft in the stay wet palette. So I realise that if you're a regular viewer of my work, you'll know that that I'm I'm uploading visit videos to Patreon. Patreon is a a crowdfunding site really, it's uh, made up of people contributing small amounts of money to see, the, see their videos, which is fair enough considering how much it costs to do them. Uh, and I've got about 33 on there at the moment, I've been doing it for about seven weeks, I've got 12 patrons who are very valued. It's four dollars for the month and you can see everything I post and all the stuff I have posted as far as I know, for, for a month. So, price of Starbucks, you've got access to, to a load of videos. Right, add one over. Got a bit of a hair on there.
So we're not so dependent on YouTube for making money out of this. The precious little we get from it. I think advertisers are a bit reluctant to advertise on YouTube, the big ones, because they don't want to be associated with some of the extremist material they allow to be published on the channel. So I'm going to mix a bit of cadmium yellow with with my raw sienna. And we can have a bit of a bit of red. A bit of uh, light red. Whatever you you put on dries considerably lighter. And when, it, when it dries, it, it soaks in. Sort of night clouds. A bit dark over the top there. Okay, we'll see what happens to that. I should have stretched it a bit before I did that bit because we've got a little bit of a mark. It doesn't matter. Just uh, see if I can get rid of that. A bit better. Right, I'll dry that off. So mute your sound. Okay, put a bit of a mountainous background in. I was watching The Revenant last night. I've seen it a couple of times, saw it at the cinema, but for some reason the digital technology let them down. I only mean, saw a third of the, the size picture without the subtitles. Uh, and as you know, for those who've seen it, it was set in Alberta, Canada, in the winter. And the scenery, the filming of it is just sensational. All right, let's put a bit of a, bit of, let's have a fairly, I might even uh, a bit of alizarin. I use a lot of alizarin. Let's go with those. I'll put some uh, some of uh, Smoothie Seventy Seven's pencil, his crayon, Cam and Dash. Right, the mountains. Let's come down to sort of a lighter colour. So I've gone higher than normal for my horizon. I've gone up a bit. So I'm I'm going to over superimpose over over that. Let's just wipe it off a little bit. The boards are about about 20 degrees, quite shallow. It suits just the camera setup. And I'm so pleased with my Fred Gillespie made boom, working beautifully. I have to counterbalance it at the end. 
because the little tripod is a bit flimsy. That's an English word, flimsy, I think. I need to dunk some of my brush in my tea. I want that to dry before I put some stuff on it. I'm going to use some larger, put in some bigger pines. Now, Bershana. I'm going to try and avoid the paint grey. I'm just going to use burnt sienna and ultramarine for my my darks. I have the river coming. It's going, I'm going to make it a river rather than than a lake. But I want it thick. Now, because I've sold a couple of paintings this week, I can spend half of it on material. Just get the dark behind that. Okay, I'm going to lift out some of this. Bit of yellow, bit of sienna. Now it's going to dark. Right, now some good rich dark, so they, they'll they show when they, I lift them out. Look, lovely thick, juicy paint. Okay. Card. Right, here we are. If you can see that. If you just gently scrape the paper, you'll get some nice textured effects. Oh. Just gently. So that shows now because it's uh, nice and light. So let's see if I can just put a bit of a Reflection. Okay, so that that'll do. Now we'll do something. You know, I want the bank to go across there now, so I want that quite quite very faint. And we're getting a lovely rich paint again. The Persian is just a fantastic colour. I don't think it was on Ron Ranson's palette, other than for occasional use. He used, you can mix light red and burnt umber and get a similar colour. So let's get that in there. Just coming through there, probably got a bit far there. Blue there. Can you have the Sienna? 
because of yellow. Warm up as we come into the foreground, turning some greens. It's coming around the corner there. So what we're, we're not copying, we're, we're, we're creating art, the original art, as simple as it might be. We're creating. Right, let's get some, some of that up here. Look, just some grasses, some rough stuff. Now, it's a nice, rich, dark, any old dark. Look, just all the primers. Get that nice and dark in there. Cover up some of that room. Now we'll go mad with a card. We seem to have just a little bit of uh, mist in now. No, the, the, the ability is up. Okay, here we go. Nice rocky shore here. Plenty of overdoing it. Now, where do we go from here? Start doing some background. Okay. Uh, right, let's put in some bluey background. There's some water in there. It's all a pinch of autumn colours. The old favourite blue and sienna. Bit of yellow. It's because I'm using paint straight from the tube, the colours are much stronger than they used to be. And that is to the good. So I'm not really just painting transparently, the transparent washes, I'm doing both. I want to get some pines. But you've got to enjoy your painting. But don't get carried away. Or you might be. Blue's in there. Do some flicking out. I've got to be careful where my figure's going to go. I'm 
might even have to lift out a little bit of uh, of the background. Again, you never stop learning with this. If ever you think you're good enough, you can bet your life you won't be. You never, ever stop learning. It will always get better. Even if it doesn't always show, be patient with yourself. Why should it be easy, eh? If it was easy, everybody would do it. Uh -huh. Right, I think we could do a bit of, bit of pines. See, I don't use masking fluid, but I never know where I'm going to put a figure. Perhaps a touch of yellow. Well, let's get these. Oh, they go mad at their jewels, and they. I should if I didn't hurt my wrist so much. I'm just going to obliterate the trunks, but it's the bit of the, where it catches the light behind, well, in front of, sorry, in front of the, uh, in front of the mountains. Right, a bit of, bit of green, I think. Let's come up here. Dark in there. I really I've done this with just the blue, the red, the yellow. Well, I've used five colours mostly. Raw sienna, uh, burnt sienna, a bit of raw sienna in the sky, uh, but I said burnt sienna, a bit of cadmium yellow, uh, and ultramarine really. So almost with painting with. Uh, with three three colours. Right, we just need to get some some of them. A bit of light come through. Mm -hmm. Something here. something with that there. Right, let's just... I'll just uh, put something in there, it's just a sort of a darker edge along there. Right. Let's put something in here. So 
a bit of reflection. Clean the brush. Right, it all goes a long way here. Yeah? Okay, that'll, that'll do. Right, uh, now I'm going to dry that off. So, mute. Okay, now what have we got? We've got a bit of, uh, I'll lift out a bit there where that has run. So uh, with my little half inch brush. So get that, keep that fairly light there. Just separate that, that bit of light on there. Uh, that's supposed to be a bank there, isn't it? But it's turned into something else. So we'll put a bit of dark green in there, I think. Put a bit of artistic license. You need a lot of cloth, big lump of cloth to take the uh, water out of your brush. It might clash a bit. some ripples. Oh, I'm not bothered about the colour of these. Okay. Uh, I can lift out a head. I, I'm going to put, put something there. Uh, where's my little brush? Mm -hmm. Would you believe it? Would you Adam and leave it? Rhyming strand. Well, I'll use this brush here. It's larger than the one I was looking for. But, <clears throat> but if I just take Some of that out there. Uh, just paint around the head. The heads, you've got to be careful. With, I'm still learning it. I'll have to put it back in again, anyway. I know what I'll do. Cheat. A bit of white. Nothing wrong with a bit of white. So I'll put his head in a sort of a opaque so I use a bit of a bit of white and some of that a bit of, a bit of burnt umber try to keep your paints clean
Okay, I'll probably bear red in there. Seems to be doing these in all the pictures. Get a bit of a grey side there. And a bit of shadow. Okay. Right, so now I don't really want to do much more than that. I'll maybe get some yellow ochre. Now the yellow ochre doesn't seem to be giving up its pigment very easily. No. More just a no, really. Just a few bits of highlight. Oh, what else can I do? I could do it with a white paint, couldn't I? Not sure if this, this is as good as the Karen Dash. Try the current dive, see what that looks like. Doesn't seem very much different, does it? Not thinking too much about where this is going. They won't register there because the paper's damp. Oh, it all helps to give a bit of an impression. Okay, I'm going to let that go, I quite like it. Uh, hope you do. Put it in. I'll put it in the blue mount. No, I won't. I think. I think with the richer colours, I think the this coloured mount is a much better bet. So we'll just anchor that with a clip, and I'll sign that. Oh, 
I do. Okay. So I, I like him there. I don't like all of them. I'm getting better with the figures, but I haven't practiced them, I must say, for a week or so. I put them in the picture, but I don't practice them first. So we've got the. I like the sky. There's plenty of light, very interesting in the sky. The background, it's alright, I'm quite happy with that. This is the same colour as here, but it's less detail. Looks like there's more, but all the details in the foreground. Plenty of warmth in it. Don't know what that is, but hey, bit of mud. And we've got him. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye bye.